Here you see a character which stands still and now it will fall back and get up again and fall again. And if you watch carefully you see lots of shadow work in the character while he moves. We have a two shaded character. It has just two colors, a dark blue and a very light blue, almost white. And that's all there is and that's what makes him look uh, cartoonish. There's another aspect to the whole thing. The background has uh, three colors, uh, so it's pretty simple as well. Uh, but uh, we also look through the whole scene through the side view window which is typical for a 2D animation because 2D animations in the classical sense look at the scene in layers and the layers are stacked behind each other so we have one layer with the falling creature and uh, a second layer in this case uh, with that backdrop here uh, which could move if it was the clouds for example or uh, a train for example in the background so um, that's basically an orthogonal setting where we look at things from a side or front view and not from the perspective window, which would be this one, which looks very much like a 3D window. So I'll show you how I created this scene. I prepared two files basically, a file which is called Quick Rick Start Maya Open. Uh, it's this character here, which I found in the Maya Autodesk Learning channel here, published uh, a year ago. It's right here, and I give you the link to this uh, tutorial, which is a very fine tutorial, really. And um, I have another file there, which we'll introduce in a minute. Uh, if I run the animation, nothing happens because this creature doesn't have animation uh, keyframes. It, uh, it's just standing there and uh, here is the body and we have a plane where the body stands on and uh, we have head features which are somewhere here which we'll delete now because we don't want eyes etc. They will just distract us now. We will um, create a character from him. So we select him and we could do it here, but I think the, the straightforward way would be go into animate to rigging actually. And under rigging, we have skeleton and we have um, quick rig down here. So it asks us, what do you want to rig this one? And now I press auto rig and it takes just a couple of seconds and then the control skeleton is being created. You see it sitting in here and here in the menu set uh, you find the character which is uh, a, called a quick rig character because we quick rigged it uh, and uh, it sources a control rig that's the, the yellow stuff in there. Still no animation. Now let's get some motion capturing data. I give you a link where you find uh, lots of free motion capture data and um, or you can search for your own ones. Basically all kinds of data work. Uh, now we import them. We don't op uh, make, uh, open a new scene, we import that. And um, I uh, downloaded somewhere um, this thing, it's called BE Defeated. It's an FBX file, which is a motion builder file uh, format, and I just import it. It creates a little um, a skeleton down here with no skin. That's the difference to the to the big character we have. And if I let the animation run now, you can see already that skeleton down there is doing something. Now, we're not interested in this tiny little thing here. We're interested in our big body and uh, the body should be controlled by that rig. Now, uh, we have a character which is called the quick rig character. That's the big one. And we want it to be controlled by the thing we just imported. It's a character. 
you already see that the big one changes his um, position slightly and now we have the animation from the little one adapted by the big one which is fair enough we can now delete the character back here it's called fbx root we don't need it anymore and now let's go to the cartoon look uh, for the cartoon animation we will look at the whole scene from the side that's the side here and uh, of course we want to see it in a nice way so let's click on this icon here that's our character and from the side that's what he does and he gets up and falls down again all right um, we, we need a background and the background can be basically anything you can create a, a, a plane I will create a well not a super ellipsis well yeah actually it could be a super ellipse it's pretty small it comes here and I will scale it up like this make it much bigger like this it's gonna be the background of our scene so and if we look from this side that's perfectly all right we, we just need a backdrop and uh, yeah that's that's a scene we want now we go to the um, rendering menu set and we have the tunes here um, with this selected um, I go to tunes assign fill shader and let's do the shaded brightness three tone now when we render it um, first of all let's go to the render settings to ensure that Maya is rendering if uh, your default is set to Arnold which would be fair enough change it to Maya for now and just close the window again if we render the scene now this is what we get and here you see already that the tune effect is uh, working you have this wonderful precise shadow here which is sort of uh, the rim of whatever uh, how the light source works on this scene but this character of course looks totally 3d and that's what we don't want so let's uh, give him a nice um, tune texture as well so I select him and I go to tune and I assign a fill shader and again I'll take a shaded brightness three tone shader I actually I could use a two tone shader uh, which looks like this when I redo the rendering this is what we get and now we have a nice tune look already in this scene and um, let me change the it's a two uh, it's a two um, color setting here let me change it um, to well let me pick this object uh, very far to the right is the is the shader uh, let's select the white and set it to well we have a, a an orange sort of background let's go to a bluish color for our character and since we want uh, this thing the shadowing uh, to be more uh, precise and clear let's make it either brighter or darker you see now we have a black almost black outline I can make it dark blue as well so that's what we get now let's render it again so that's the um, character we have now of course we can in introduce lights and um, which uh, cast shadows so we have flat shadows in the scene that's uh, possible as well but currently we have the only the default light I guess and um, if we look at it from the perspective actually we do have the shadows so the shadows would be rendered let's have a look at the whole scene from this perspective and do a rendering from here you see it has a 3d look because of the shadow and because of this 3d geometry that's why I introduced the 
front or side side view of the whole thing, which uh, makes the appearance of a uh, which creates the appearance of a cartoon. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. Use the tune shader um, uh, in the in this. You can use them in several ways and uh, play around with them and get a nice effect for them. And then look at things from the side view in this case.